hello, hello. Welcome back to Lenny Plans. I'm going to be doing another plan with me today and I'm planning out week 44 of 2021 um, and it will be in the new um, Wonderland 222 planner. So this is the teal in the B6 size um, and this is the 2022 planner. I'm going to be saying the number two a lot in the next 12 months, I can tell. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they start in November. So I get to start this tomorrow, which is really exciting. Um, so I guess a nice comparison at this point in time, you can see how much um, it's chunked up over the year. I always find that really interesting to see. Um, the spine has held up quite well considering. There's definitely a little bit of um, like bending, but I, I wouldn't even really call that an issue. Um, I think that it's held together really beautifully. Um, yeah. So here you go. I um I have changed. I've put the tabs on the top uh, this this year or this year coming. Um, and I actually decided to start my tabs um, from November um, through to October, since that's kind of the months that I ended up using. I sort of wish that I had used these at the beginning because I've yeah because I've been in this one since November so um yeah so I decided I would I would do that for this year before I jump into this one um though I will give you a look at week 43 so it was a hectic week as was sort of expected um we were back face to face with everything this week so we made it to jujitsu and music and jujitsu and swimming and um so i don't have a lot of time what i had been doing during remote was because jujitsu music and jujitsu is all actually in this room that i'm sitting in right now this is our our gym and my office and our music room um so it became our virtual space uh so i could sit at my desk and play with all my craft supplies while they were having a class um which i really liked because it it really did give me just a little bit of a break between work and home um even though they were right there the kids um yeah, so I don't have the same opportunity when I'm actually at a location. So it's one of the things I'm missing in that that change. Um, and thanks for, for those who commented on how they're finding that transition. Um, definitely seems like it's a bit of a strange one. Um, but, you know, I'm sure we'll all get through. I think I've been amazingly impressed with how resilient people are through this whole time period. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's why I don't have a lot of things and there's a lot of blank spaces, which is um, I was just busy. <laughs> and, and because these are like work blocks and I do have a separate work planner, um, which has confidential information. And so therefore I can't I can't show that online. Um, so I can assure you I was not doing nothing. I was absolutely right off my feet, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, so here's a picture of my boys. Um, they were just sitting outside and. That's, that's my little cat, Gracie, that my eldest is holding. Um, they were just making each other giggle. And um, I managed to get quite a few really good photos of them just cracking up laughing. It was really cute. Um, I got really sunburnt on Wednesday. Um, I'm usually pretty good, but I will often have just one day at the start of the, the warm season um, where I just, you know, I haven't had to be quite as vigilant through winter. Um, and yeah, it... Wednesday was hot. It actually got higher than the, the 25 that was predicted. And um, yeah, I didn't have my sun cream in the car like I usually do, so I couldn't even put that on. Um, our car was in for a service and I was borrowing my husband's car and he doesn't keep sunscreen in his car. So yeah, that was quite painful. I was exhausted and I didn't quite make it to um, my Bible study, which is sad. I still haven't seen them in person. I am really hoping to be able to get um, to see them this week, though. Um, I was back outside for my other work and the boys were at swimming. Um, and then we've got two little additions to our pet family. Um, one of our little mice, we have two, we have two mice and one of the girls has a tumor. Um, and so we sort of wanted to see if we could find some company um, and, and help them to bond before she passes away. Um, that's for any of you who've had mice, you'll know that's 
a little bit of a hit and miss and can be a little bit of a process. So we've got two new little ones who are in a separate space and then we're sort of trying to introduce them gently. Um, see which is easier in terms of getting them bonded, whether it's before or after. Um, yeah, so we're walking through that process now. Um, but yeah, we picked up these two little girls. They're so cute. They're so tiny. They're so tiny. This photo does not even do them justice. Um, the white one, her name is Snow. And um, the little tiny one um, we've called Cricket. And she was the runt of the litter. Um, and she's so tiny. And she's sort of still calling a little bit. Um, so, yeah, she's really cute. But yeah, she sounds like the crickets. So my boys called her Cricket. Um they're very cute and they actually, they, they are so happy together. Um, they're very cute when they sleep. So yeah, that's, that has been my week. Otherwise it's just pretty much as planned, lots of appointments and work and, um, doing some extra training, um, in a couple of weeks and I have to do some course preparation for that. So I was getting into that a little bit on Thursday, which was good. I've had book drops. As I said last week, I, have not yet started any of them because I, I got caught in another book series. But my to read pile, oh, it's so long, but that's okay. Um, the boys got to go on a Halloween uh, rock hunt. Um, I'm not sure if this is even a thing anywhere else in the world, but in Australia, there's been lots of painted rocks um, and people, so they paint them at home and then you hide them in places and then you can collect them or swap them. Or um, I have encouraged my boys to move them and hide them somewhere else so we don't end up taking home tons and tons and tons of painted rocks um but yeah they had a, a halloween hunt in um they was looking for rocks and lollies i think in the botanic gardens um and it was it was lovely they went with a friend so um hubby and i just actually spent some time trying to work on um setting up for the mice and um giving them some gentle introductions so that was yesterday. Today we were back at church face to face. I was on welcoming, so that was an interesting start. Um, but you know, it was good. It was really nice to see people. Um, I've still got some prep to do for the week ahead, but apart from that, I am done in this planner, which is crazy actually. Kind of sad too. Like I really enjoyed really enjoyed this one. Does anyone else get that? Even though I'm in the same planner, it's literally the same color and the same layout, but it's almost like, I don't know, this has been my friend and I've taken it with me everywhere. So yeah, that is the end of that one pretty much. All right, well, um, moving into the new one. Um, I, actually I'll show you what I've set up so far. You've probably seen some bits and pieces, so got the tabs up top um i've stuck in this uh journaling card postcard from sakura Muchi. so reach for the moon even if you fall short you'll end among the stars so cute um yeah don't have loads in there yet i really do like to be able to kind of work on it through the year bit by bit i do have my birthday set up um, I've got the quarters for 2022. This is the one thing that isn't, I guess like they, they don't have November and December 2021 in here. So this is really the one thing that's kind of missing. Um, I don't really use the quarters that much. Um, in, in my head, I'm always like, yeah, it's, it's each term. So it kind of counts, but I really don't, yeah, I don't really use it very much. What do you guys use it for? I'd love to know. Um, Habit trackers start tomorrow. Um, what else do I have? Oh, I did just stick in some cards. That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna stick in, I've got um, November stickers. Uh, sorry, no, letter stickers that I put in. Um, I just was about to do this and I thought I'd show you guys a quick hack. Um, I've just <laughs> bummed them all. So if you have lots of these kind of individual letter stickers and you are looking to put them in place, um, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but you can always stick them partially on something else first. Um, and then just like I'm doing right now, you can actually sort of tweak them and make sure they're in the right um, order or position. With these ones, I'm not too worried. They're actually not 100% uh, 
even anyway. Um, so it's okay if they're a little bit all over the place, but then it becomes really easy to sort of work out where you want to put them. Um, I was going to just stick it up the top. Um, and then you just have to kind of push one down at a time and you get a little bit of flexibility um, at this point as well. I'm really hoping this works. <laughs> um, um, just by doing that then. <laughs> Wow, that really didn't work. Here's me, like, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys a cool hack. Psh, that didn't work at all, did it? Well, fail. I don't know, I think it's still a set. <laughs> I probably still move them around though, which is just hilarious. I feel like they did not stick actually maybe it's the letters themselves that actually does work and i genuinely have used that in other places so if you are looking to kind of position stickers um then that is actually genuinely a really good way to do it yeah wow these just aren't sticking i wonder if these are gonna annoy me for the whole month Well, I hope I entertained you all at least. <laughs> My hack fail. That's not too bad. Like I said, they're not totally even anyway. Yes, so if you if you are trying to lay down a, a series of stickers, um, sticking them partly on something else like a washi card or a credit card or um, like a bookmark or, you know, something like that can work really well provided you have stickers that are actually sticky. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Anyway, okay, random aside. So, yes, I've done... Um, this is just a blank notes page. Um, I don't tend to really use it for much. Um, and then the November overview. I have had some goals and things like that, but I kind of just wanted to do something a little bit sort of um, aesthetically pleasing. So um, these are just some scrapbooking cards and paper and washi. Um, I did uh, use uh, just some washi and some day of the week stickers to plan out November as well um, so I didn't I really did not have time to play around in Cricut design space um, and I've got some really cute washi anyway and I've got these um, month letters and I think both of these are from Barney and Moon I'll link below um, they're really cute so yeah I kept it fairly simple for this month um, coming yeah. So here we are at week 44. I'm super excited to have bookmarks. Um, so I won't need to have the, the stick on tab um, at this stage. Yeah. All right, well, I will, I've probably talked your ear off for so long and I'm very sorry about that. Hopefully you have found it somewhat humorous. <laughs> anyway. So I'll pop on some background music while I lay down stickers. I'm using a mandolin plans kit. Um, I've just sort of gone with the green theme. I sort of was um, just feeling it. <laughs> um, and I've done some preparation like I did last week. Um, I did know that I was going to be showing you sort of two planners. So I didn't want it, this video to be too long. Um, but yeah. All right. I hope you enjoy.
Okay. Um, as you can see, it's a fairly usual week. Uh, I've got uh, work. I've got a staff meeting that's running a little bit past my usual finish time. So I'll be finishing a little bit later. We'll have to go straight from school to music. Um, that's okay. Just have to be prepared. Um, so hoping I make it to see my girls this week. Uh, we've got uh, the dogs being groomed on Thursday morning. Um, swimming. I'm working on Saturday uh, and it is my mother-in-law's birthday on Sunday um, and we have church. So um, yeah, a few things on should be fun. I really like this kit actually and um, it works really nicely. I don't, I don't use this particular color of the mild liner very often, but it, I just feel like it goes really nicely. So that's cool. I like it. It's just, um, I tend to prefer more of the, like the pastel ones. Um, where's my purple? There it is. My purple and then I usually have a gray. So they're the ones that I usually use. Um, but yeah, that one, I just thought it was a better color than like either of those two. So hmm, nice to have something different um, and a little bit fresh. So that is the start of the new planner, the start of November and week 44 of this year. So I hope that you guys have found that um, satisfying to watch or entertaining to watch or a little bit of, little bit of both maybe. Um, I hope you all have a really good week. Stay safe. Take care. Bye.